Oh, hello there. I was just orbiting the moon, 11 million meters away from home. Orbiting a moon, orbiting a planet, orbiting a sun. It seems like everyone is orbiting these days, but what is an orbit? And more importantly, how do I do it in KSP? Well, simply put, an orbit is a gravitationally curved path around an object in space. What? Uh, that's not simple at all. Uh, look at a picture. Kabang! Ooh, arrows and lines. Everyone knows what goes up must come down. Except, that is, for orbits. You see, an orbit can go on forever. So, what keeps that ship from crashing back to the green curbin from which it came? Momentum! Basically, as the ship is pulled down, its momentum keeps it from missing the planet. As you can imagine, uh, it's a bit of a balancing act. If you go too slow, you won't keep missing the planet. You'll crash right into it. On the same token, if you go too fast, you'll escape the planet's gravitational force and fly off into space. That's called an escape orbit, and it's a one-way ticket. The speed at which you travel is determined by the altitude which you orbit. The farther away you are from something, the less effect its gravity has on you. At 70 kilometers, you'll need to travel at about 2,300 meters per second. At 7,000 kilometers, you only have to travel at just under 690 meters per second. Orbiting the moon takes even less speed because of its smaller mass. If you're talented enough, you can get a perfect orbit, meaning it's round and you always stay the same distance from the planet. Most orbits don't turn out this way though. Even NASA doesn't do perfect orbits. They always seem to have a little variation with them. That's okay as long as it's within your mission limits and even if it isn't, you can always fix it. I'm gonna teach you two terms that you may or may not know about, apoapsis and paraapsis. Now, apoapsis is the slowest, farthest part of an orbit. And paraapsis is opposite. It's the fastest and lowest part of an orbit. An orbit is considered to be elliptical if the apoapsis is significantly higher than its paraapsis. Sometimes it's okay. For example, I use an elliptical orbit to get out here to the moon. But say you wanna round out that orbit of yours. Very hard? Not at all. It just requires a bit of patience and some fuel. Let's look at this orbit here. You can see that my apoapsis and my paraapsis are very different, and the shape of the orbit is more like an egg. That's okay, we can fix it. There are three tips that I'm gonna give you to round out our orbit. The first is, whatever you do on this side of the orbit, it's gonna have an effect on the opposite side of the orbit. So if I wanna change part of the orbit, I need to go to the other side of that orbit to fix it. Secondly, only speed up or slow down. Don't try to move directions like up or down. It'll only waste fuel. Simply fire in the direction of the yellowish marker to speed up and toward the green X to slow down. The final tip is to only do burns at the apoapsis or at the paraapsis. Otherwise, it gets a little difficult to judge what kind of effect you're having on your orbit. Now, let's use these tips to fix our orbit. Here, you see while our apoapsis is at a good altitude, our paraapsis is so low that it's still in the atmosphere. We want to make our paraapsis higher, so we'll wait until we reach the opposite side of our orbit, which is, of course, the apoapsis. Now that we're at the apoapsis, we want to raise the other side of the orbit, so we'll point the rocket toward the yellow marker, which shows the direction we're traveling. Now that we're pointed in the right direction, we can accelerate the ship slowly. A little bit of fuel goes a long way when you're doing it right. Now I see the paraapsis moving away from its location. I know that I'm getting closer to a round orbit, and I'm gonna cut the engine. My orbit is now much, much rounder and will no longer decay in the atmosphere. If I wanna continue to make the orbit rounder and rounder, I'll go to the paraapsis or the apoapsis and use these same techniques to make it rounder and rounder until I'm happy with what I have. Orbiting may seem difficult, but with a little practice, anyone can pull it off. 
without orbiting so many other challenges become impossible. In short, a good orbit opens up a universe of possibilities.